Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. I am running around doing a few things for work today and just wanted to check in. Uh, thank you all for your comments on my post regarding my crazy neighbors watching me. Uh, a lot of good comments. Um, I'm still replying to some of them, uh, but I definitely appreciate all the feedback. Um, there was a comment as well uh, regarding the window shades um, and some magnets uh, at Walmart. I'm gonna look into those. Um, I know there, there was another post previously, I think on my original review of uh, the Airstream Interstate um, about a different type of uh, shade um, that's made for the, uh, the Sprinter chassis. I'm also looking into that as well. I hate to not use what I already have. Um, I mean, they are kind of big and clunky, but they definitely get the job done. I just need an easier way to attach them. So, uh, I'll probably talk about that, um, while I'm out camping this weekend. Um, so stay tuned, uh, for that. But, uh, other than that, got a couple of things going on later today. I had mentioned, um, in a previous uh, vlog that uh, I started painting my house and then just got worn out. And I, I mean, I literally got like half of the dining room painted. I was testing the paint color, but then I kind of just farted out and lost all motivation to paint. So I've got a painter uh, come today. He's done a lot of work in the neighborhood and comes recommended. Um, so I'm going to see how much that costs. It's hard for me to pay someone to do something that I know it can easily do. Um, it's just not fun anymore. It is not fun. I would rather have the quicker instant gratification of paying for it. But the scary thing is I know how expensive having house painters can be. And I'm not trying to paint the whole house. I'm really only trying to paint my main rooms, the foyer, dining room, gathering room, kitchen, breakfast. So we'll see. I'm thinking if I had to guess, or I'm going to say $2,500, which is more than I want to pay. Um, I mean, I would maybe consider half that amount. It's pretty straightforward to painting. I mean, there's, I'm going to move everything, take all the drapes, everything off the wall. I'm basically going to help him be able to come in and paint. Um, you know, I'm sure he'll put some drop cloths down, but so... We'll see. I mean, he's pretty busy, so I'm hoping he's not price gouging everyone. Even if it was $2,500, it's probably reasonable. I had a colleague of mine have her entire whole house painted um, recently, her new house, and that was like $10,000, but that also included painting all the kitchen cabinets, which is a chore. They had to take all the doors and drawers off and, and finish them. So we'll see. Um, you know, $1,500, that might work. And then on top of that, I think I also mentioned um, when I moved into my house a year ago, I opted to have the builder um, just give me more cabinets in the kitchen uh, in lieu of replacing the dead shrubs outside. So now here I am over a year later and I'm looking at the house and, you know, it's February. It's going to start getting warm soon. Everything's going to be start going to start growing. Um, and the front yard just looks lethargic with shrubs. So I've got one of my um, landscapers that I um, deal with at work. Uh, they're going to stop by my house next week and, um, try to sketch something for me. So again, I'm hoping that doesn't wind up being crazy expensive. Um, cause I'm kind of Airstream interstate poor at this point. So I've got to work on doing my taxes. Um, you know, and I know one benefit of having the interstate is that, uh, I'll be able to use that as a tax deduction, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so that's cool. I think that will uh, have a greater effect uh, when I do my taxes this time next year in 2018 since I'll be uh, paying uh, interest um, all this year, 2017, that I'll be able to deduct some um, really as kind of a second home. So um, that was another reason why I moved forward with an RV purchase. But... Um, so anyway, I'm still going to try to see today, worst case tomorrow, actually tomorrow, no, probably won't work because, well, I'm trying to get the Airstream over to the parking lot um, at the storage facility. So I'll see if I could do that tonight, kind of test it out for the evening. And then my goal is 
tomorrow, uh, let me switch hands. Um, tomorrow after work, uh, I, which is Thursday tomorrow um, for me, I will go to storage, pick up the RV, leave my car there in the parking spot, and then have the RV all packed up. No, wait, hold on. Does that make sense? I need to pick up the RV on Friday after work. Uh, maybe I'll forego doing it tomorrow, Thursday, and wait Friday. So I'll drive my normal car Friday to work, go to work, come home, because I have to get spanky. I'm gonna have to pack the RV anyway. So I'll get the RV, pack it at the house, and then go to the campground, which is not but 30 minutes away from where I live. Um, so that would be Friday. So I'm gonna have a family member who lives nearby um, escort me to the storage place when I drop off the interstate so they can drive me home. Um, and it's maybe not but about five miles away from where I live. So that's kind of um, the update. So far, I will take a video this weekend um, of the power cord and how the little LED light flickers. I haven't contacted the dealer yet um, or the local dealer, uh, cause they've basically directed me for any warranty concerns at this point, um, to the local dealer, not my original dealer that I bought the Airstream inter Interstate from in Ohio and had it driven down. Um, besides I'm still dealing with them trying to reimburse me for, that's a whole nother story. Uh, <laughs> I, I helped the driver who drove the RV from Ohio to North Carolina down to my house, um, which worked out great because I was not able to get up there to um, myself drive it down. And I am literally behind a guy going 25 miles an hour in a 45. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, I think he needs a Starbucks. He needs a little get up and go. But anyway, so I had it driven down, and then my dealer rep asked me if I could help arrange transportation for the driver to the hotel that he was going to stay at that night uh, in Charlotte because um, he's going to the airport the next day. So I'm like, okay, that put me off a little bit that I'm arranging. I just bought a super expensive RV. Now I'm arranging travel, uh, a taxi basically. So I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and schedule Uber. Um, so I paid for the Uber because the driver was not, he didn't know how to Uber and all of that crap. And I did not have the heart to get a taxi, which a taxi was going to be twice as expensive, even though he could have paid out of pocket. I'm like, that just doesn't make sense. Anyway, I probably did more than I should have. And that's what usually gets me in trouble, uh, at work is that I'm, doing more than I need to to try to help and instead of delegating but anyway um so the uber is like 35 dollars not a big deal but here it is three months later I still don't have a reimbursement um from the dealer so I think we're making headway now I sent him a copy of the receipt again and they're supposed to be getting it processed um so stay tuned we'll see hopefully I'll get that check again it's 35 dollars it's small beans compared to the purchase price but it's just the principle that you know, honestly, knowing that they asked me, my my salesman asked me if I could help arrange travel, which put me on the spot, and that was just awkward in the first place. Um, he should have just sent the driver down with a gift card uh, and given me a gift card um, instead of having to deal with all this reimbursement crap. Or it's like, don't write me a check, just freaking send a gift card, $50, $100, something um, in good will or good faith that, you know, I went out of my way to help arrange travel. So anyway, just a stupid little silly thing. I don't understand where these salespeople come from sometimes. Um, anyway, so that's my little rant. Um, but again, as always, uh, leave me some comments if there's anything this weekend you'd like for me to show or test out in the interstate. I will definitely be showing um, the flickering LED in, on the power cord. I also think I need to check the windshield wiper fluid. I'm stopping off at Target here in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some window, window washer fluid because every time I try to use um, the window washers on the interstate, they're not squirting out anything. And I, I keep forgetting to check uh, the tanks, which would surprise me that they didn't come full. I don't know, we'll see. Um, 
So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>